So, I'm back um, with a data sheet of um, the uh, LM386 uh, uh, and uh, as you can uh, read uh, already uh, it is a low voltage audio power amplifier so that is basically what we are looking for. So here uh, we have some uh, features and uh, let's see uh, if uh, that is uh, what we are looking for. So battery operation so that is not really needed but uh, nice to have because that means uh, we have definitely a low power consumption. Um, yeah, minimum external parts which is nice as well. Ah, wide uh, supply range, so 4 volt uh, up to 12 or 5 to 18, so that is nice uh, as well. And um, as I guessed uh, already, low uh, current drain, it is only 4 milliamps, uh, so that is uh, good for battery op operation um, as well. So then we have a, a high. Um, gain from uh, 20 to 200 and uh, ground um, referenced input so uh, we do not need a negative uh, voltage so that is uh, nice as well and <clears throat> ah have a look low distortion so that was uh, one uh, of our requirements we uh, already defined it here and um, yeah, so that is what we can see here, low distortion, uh, 0.2 percent um, with a gain of 20 with 6 volt of uh, supply voltage with a load resistor of 8 ohm and, and uh, that is really nice, 125 milliwatt um, with one kilohertz. So, if if uh, you remember, so um, that was uh, one of the requirements as well. I said we need minimum uh, 50 milliwatt, and um, this little unit will uh, give us uh, 125 milliwatt. So, <clears throat> this is all we want. So that is uh, obviously the right. Uh, part and um, yeah, if if we go through this uh, technical uh, data, so we have uh, uh, typical uh, applications um, which is also supplied with uh, the data, and uh, there we have um, uh, an example of a, a typical audio um, application. And uh, yeah, this will be the one we gonna try. And uh, well, as uh, you may uh, already expect, I have um, already uh, put all these um, little uh, components uh, here on the breadboard. So down down here we we have uh, our uh, little uh, amplifier so we have uh, the components as um, required in uh, this example and I have uh, connected uh, the amplifier in this or well, with this uh, circuitry uh, to a little test uh, speaker and uh, as well, um, it is uh, connected uh, via this uh, potentiometer to uh, our signal uh, source, which is, uh, as you can see, one uh, kilohertz. And uh, I'm feeding minus 70 dBm. <clears throat> and um, now we can um, test it. So I have here's a power supply with uh, 12 volt, and uh, I'm gonna connect it to.
to the circuit. So now um, we have the circuit under voltage and <clears throat> normally everything should uh, work. Um, so I want to check um, what happens if we put uh, our input signal on. So I switch it on. Oops! Oh! Yeah, switch it out. So there is an amplification, so we can uh, clearly uh, hear that. And uh, let me switch it uh, to uh, our oscilloscope. Oh, come on. So now it is uh, connected uh, to the oscilloscope, so our probe I have already uh, put on here. And um, yeah, so that is uh, connected in a, in, a, in a right way. So let's have a look what we have. Woo! So what you can uh, see here is a, a maximum uh, overdriven signal, so that is uh, not a nice uh, and clear uh, sinus as uh, we are expecting it and uh, yeah so that uh, is definitely because uh, I set it uh, up this way um, in uh, this application uh, we have a gain of uh, 200 and uh, that is uh, definitely too uh, much, so uh, we have a completely overdriven uh, circuit, which uh, we don't want. So uh, our requirement was um, a nice and uh, clean um, sinus with uh, low distortion, and uh, for the moment in time, uh, it is uh, much uh, maximum distortion what uh, we uh, do not want. So let me um, let me remove, oh no, first of all I uh, disconnect uh, the um, I disconnect our loudspeaker and uh, I switch it uh, onto a dummy resistor so that uh, is a dummy resistor of uh, 8 uh, ohm and uh, I put this dummy resistor on so now uh, we do not have uh, the uh, this um, this uh, loud noise here which we don't like so everything is connected now to the dummy and uh, we can <clears throat> we can watch uh, our uh, signal um, without uh, getting um, getting this uh, loud, loud uh, noise. Okay, let's uh, switch again. Uh, I switch it on, and yeah, you can see that is uh, yeah. We don't want that, so that is a completely distorted uh, signal, and therefore I remove um, this. Uh, capacity, the capacitor down here, I will pull it and um, pulling uh, this uh, capacity means, so that was uh, this guy here, means that uh, I'm now down um, with, with uh, open leads here, I'm now down to amplification um, of uh, 20 which is uh, 10 times uh, lower. So, okay, that means uh, basically the amplification is lower and uh, I need to change here my uh, Y input 
but what you can see here what you can see here is uh, we have still a huge uh, problem um, <clears throat> The negative uh, half wave uh, seems to be um, okay, so that uh, does not look uh, so bad. But um, here we uh, have really uh, a big problem. So uh, that uh, is self oscillation. So I'm feeding in uh, one uh, kilohertz, and uh, my internal. Um, a counter is telling me it is uh, somewhat uh, around uh, 600 kilohertz so that is uh, a kind of self self uh, oscillation and uh, that is uh, what we don't want so maybe we have uh, trouble with uh, our circuit uh, in general and um, I do not have um, block capacities uh, installed already so I guess I gonna take here um, a little uh, non-polarized uh, capacity which I will put down here and um, yeah I will show you uh, the signal I have it now into it. Ah, have a look. Have a look. It is already it is already much better. So, let's, let's see. But um, still we have uh, a problem. So, it is not completely uh, gone. So, there is uh, still uh, something um, which we don't want. Um, I mean, now the internal uh, counter is reporting one kilohertz, so that is what we are feeding in, so that is correct. Um, but uh, that is still not good, and I will increase uh, the volume level a little bit. Uh, now we are uh, now we have uh, as output uh, 300 uh, I guess so, so we can read it 351 millivolt so that is uh, the output level and um, we are uh, we want um, something I don't know we need uh, nearly one volt I guess now we have uh, 450 and we can clearly see there is uh, still a problem, so the negative half wave looks already quite nice, no problem, but uh, there is uh, still uh, an oscillation ongoing, so um, maybe this uh, little capacity is not enough, so uh, in uh, parallel I will put, uh, I will put um, electrolytic uh, capacity. I'm going to take uh, this one here. This guy with, uh, what is it, uh, uh, 100 uh, microfarad. I will put uh, in parallel and uh, yeah, I put, it, I put it down here directly in parallel to this little non-polarized and uh, let's uh, have a look to uh, our signal. Let's have a look to our signal. I go back here and uh, I will now connect uh, the electrolytic uh, capacity to uh, the circuit. Ah, have you seen that? So, great, here we are. So that is without, that is without. Now one um, leg is uh, disconnected. You can uh, see it, hopefully. Can you see it? Uh, I guess yes, and uh, so we have still this uh, uh, oscillation issue, and now I push it in. So now, now it is um, uh, connected. So both uh, capacitors are now 
um, in parallel um, and uh, that is what is helping us uh, to reduce the oscillation and what we can see here now uh, we have a nice we have a nice signal so I'm reducing it uh, a little bit here because uh, as I said I want to increase the audio level a little bit so up to yeah, let me say uh, 700 um, millivolt so 700 millivolt still um, looks very nice so you can see uh, the sinus looks quite um, clean and uh, with uh, 700 uh, millivolt at uh, 8 ohm so let's uh, check what that means so maybe um, you remember our formula is um, can we can we read it P is um, U uh, over uh, R so we have now uh, 700 uh, millivolt uh, to the exponent uh, 2 um, over uh, 8 ohm and uh, that should be uh, our output uh, power in uh, watt so let us uh, calculate it um, uh, 0 0.7 um, divided uh, by 8 ohm so ah, have a look so that is um, 0 0.061 watt and uh, 0 0.061 watt is um, the same as uh, 61 milliwatt so our requirement uh, was uh, 50 so that is what uh, we wrote down uh, here earlier and now with uh, 700 um, millivolt uh, at uh, the output of uh, our uh, amplifier connected uh, <coughs> to a 8 uh, ohm load which uh, is a, a normal uh, a speaker um, load uh, resistor um, we will uh, generate uh, 61 milliwatt so great that is uh, what we want so let's uh, go back uh, to uh, our circuit and uh, let's uh, see again the signal and you see um, the signal is really uh, quite nice it uh, looks uh, very very clean um, that is uh, what we want and okay let's uh, double check I um, switch it off for a second and I disconnect uh, the dummy resistor and I re um, connect back uh, the speaker and now let's see how it sounds I switch it on oh okay so maybe you can already hear that it sounds much better and uh, the signal is quite nice yeah let's uh, switch it off so um, I don't know whether um, it, you can really uh, hear it here on the tape I mean um, you when we when we have this uh, 200 uh, um, of uh, gain um, we recognize it was uh, really dis uh, distorted and uh, now um, it, it sounds much better um, so that uh, is uh, we, are, we are definitely going in the right direction so that is that is uh, for sure so uh, 
so that was uh, only uh, the proof that uh, yeah that uh, everything uh, seems to be good and now I gonna um, connect back to, back the dummy resistor and then I can switch it uh, on uh, again and uh, yes very nice here is uh, our signal um, and again 680 millivolt um, that is what we have uh, now um, uh, available at uh, our 8 ohm uh, dummy resistor and um, okay so the second um, requirement uh, was um, maximum uh, two or three percent uh, total harmonic distortion and noise and uh, therefore I have here uh, my nice uh, distortion analyzer and um, I want to connect uh, my distortion analyzer um, here uh, to, to the output um, so it is in parallel now to the uh, it is in parallel uh, to the uh, oscilloscope so let me put it here and now our distortion analyzer uh, is starting to work and um, yeah I don't know whether you can uh, really uh, see it uh, my distortion analyzer is um, switched to um, 10 uh, maximum also 10 percent so end is uh, 10 percent uh, distortion so so it might be uh, better uh, 10 and uh, so this scale is the right one and uh, if you now see the needle we can read let me check it is uh, 2.6 so we have uh, 2.6 uh, THD so that is uh, within our uh, requirement so um, we was um, looking for um, for two maximum three and um, with the circuit uh, here we uh, obviously are able uh, to reach uh, our requirements so that uh, is very good and um, I mean it is it is uh, on a breadboard and and you see um, it is everything is is crowded and uh, it is not uh, optimal so um, you know I I'm sure um, that uh, the signal and uh, the the distortion um, the, the distortion might be better when when we uh, have it uh, on a PCB and uh, we we do not have all these wires which uh, we, uh, who are uh, definitely in influencing influencing um, uh, the signal and uh, you you can you can see only um, moving a little bit here uh, I'm, I'm, I'm only moving wires um, and uh, components here on, on the board and uh, our THD is uh, changing so um, having it here on the board is uh, critical so I'm, I'm sure uh, you can you can see it huh? you can really uh, see it that uh, when I'm playing here on on the board, I'm I'm not, I'm, I'm only uh, bending here a little bit, so that is everything uh, I'm I'm doing, and uh, that uh, uh, will already uh, change uh, um, the THD uh, value. So um, yeah, it is uh, clear. So the 
the circumstances uh, we 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 have here are um, not uh, optimal. So I'm I'm sure we will uh, get um, a better performance when we have the circuit on uh, PCB. So, but uh, anyway. Um, what what we can uh, say uh, uh, so far is uh, that um, with this uh, circuit and um, with all um, the information what we what we have um, is that uh, yeah um, our our audio amplifier uh, the LM386 uh, uh, low voltage audio power amplifier is uh, doing um, its uh, job and uh, is finally um, doing, doing uh, what uh, we are uh, requiring so um, yeah I think um, we will uh, move forward so we we will uh, choose this uh, component for our project and uh, the circuitry uh, as well um i'm you know, i'm uh, quite satisfied so um that is that is okay um under um lab conditions uh, it is working uh, nice so that is great next will be uh, I'm as, as, as I said before we need to, to find a mixer uh, so uh, now I'm gonna check um, the mini circuit uh, database and uh, um, watch out for a component uh, which is uh, fulfilling um, this requirement and yeah that that will be next so I'm back from uh, web search and um, as uh, we said uh, I was looking for a device, uh, a mixer, um, which is able to uh, fulfill um, this uh, circuitry. So that was uh, our requirement and yeah what uh, I uh, found at uh, um, the mini circuit uh, website uh, this uh, frequency mixer and um, so if you um, watch this so that uh, was uh, my requirement to um, be able to demodulate uh, the uh, single sideband uh, signal and um, this uh, looks uh, very similar to um, what uh, I was uh, looking for so we have here our local um, oscillator uh, input and uh, we have here our RF um, input and uh, this I is um, the audio frequency uh, output. So <clears throat> this little uh, this little device is called TUF uh, one, and uh, yeah, here here it is. So this is our little device from uh, Mini Circuit, which uh, is obviously fulfilling um, all the requirements um, we had and uh, what we defined before and um, looking uh, a little bit uh, more in detail we uh, can find uh, this here so um, this mixer needs a local uh, oscillator power of uh, 7 dBm so that is um, what I mentioned before. Um, I can simply use my uh, wave station uh, to supply um, this uh, product detector, this uh, mixer, 
um, with a required uh, level of uh, 7, 7 uh, dBm, so that is no problem, so that's great. And um, this is um, the second uh, issue, um, which is very nice. So um, this little uh, circuit works from 2 uh, megahertz up to 600. So that uh, really covers uh, the complete um, ham radio uh, band uh, up to 70 centimeter. So um, yeah, that uh, is doing the complete job. And um, yeah, when we look uh, a bit more in detail here, we can uh, find um, when we uh, use it from let's say uh, 2 megahertz up to 50 so 50 megahertz is already 6 meter band um, we will find uh, at the inputs uh, of uh, this little ship um, uh, uh, SWR ratio at uh, the RF port uh, between, uh, let's say, 1.1 uh, 1 up to 1.56, so that is uh, really great. So um, this is within uh, the 50 uh, ohm um, requirements, and uh, at the local uh, oscillator port uh, it is a bit uh, higher, uh, but uh, it is never uh, over uh, 3. So that is uh, fine, um, no compl complaints about that. So that means um, if, I, um, if I build up a, a circuitry which uh, look, look like uh, this, um, it uh, should normally work. So yeah, this is uh, our, uh, our device. Um, here uh, in the middle, so we have uh, one input which uh, is local uh, oscillator. Um, I have a coupling uh, capacitor in between, so uh, that is always very good. Uh, from uh, here um, we get our RF uh, signal, so that is uh, from our transmitter. Um, so we are not allowed uh, to go over so maximum uh, input level is uh, 10 uh, dBm but it is uh, always uh, much lower so um, in in my uh, example when I'm uh, testing uh, a transmitter with uh, 100 uh, watt output I have an attenuator uh, um, so a power attenuator um, of uh, 40 uh, dB uh, in between and then uh, before I uh, connect it uh, to my spectrum analyzer, uh, I have another uh, 20 dB um, just to make uh, sure that uh, level is uh, really low enough um, uh, to, to uh, protect um, the input circuitry uh, of uh, the uh, spectrum analyzer. So the level which uh, will be uh, available here is uh, yeah 50 dBm is 100 uh, watt then uh, 40 and 20 dB attenuation uh, in between means um, I will have here uh, under test condition minus uh, 10 uh, dBn because plus 50 minus minus 60 is minus 10 uh, dBm, so we are fulfilling uh, the requirement uh, as well. And then, um, if we look uh, back here in our um, data, we find uh, that we will have a loss. Uh, yeah, where is it? Here is uh, the uh, conver conversation. Uh, con um, conversation uh, loss uh, so that uh, will yeah at at a local as oscillator um, uh, se plus 7 dBm so that is um, the requirement and then 
we will have um, a loss of, uh, yeah, let me say, um, maximum uh, 7 uh, dBm. So that would mean, um, that would mean, if uh, I feed uh, in my RF input minus 10, so we will have uh, an additional loss of, uh, let me say, uh, 7 inside this mixer with the uh, um, level of 7 dBm at the local oscillator input. So that means at uh, the output where we should find uh, our, um, our audio frequency, we uh, will then have minus 17 uh, dBm. And that is exactly uh, the level um, which uh, I feed it uh, here uh, into uh, my uh, amplifier. So that is um, was uh, feed it with uh, minus 17 and with uh, minus 17 I was able to uh, generate uh, easily my uh, 50 milliwatt. So that uh, should work. So uh, therefore um, I will now um, uh, build my uh, circuit. Um, so I, I um, simply put uh, this um, uh, parts uh, to the little mixer uh, on a PCB and uh, then we will uh, feed um, the levels um, which we already defined here. Um, 14 megahertz and uh, 14 zero zero one and uh, then I hope we can find our one kilohertz at uh, the output which we then can uh, amplify so that uh, will be next so the mixer is um, soldered uh, so far um, as I um, have drawn it here uh, on the paper so um, that is now here on uh, this little PCB and uh, I'm gonna now put uh, the coax cable um, to it that I can uh, connect um, the inputs so our uh, test circuit is uh, up and running. So far um, I can say um, I have uh, built it uh, up like uh, I have drawn it uh, down here as I said before. And um, yeah, um, this here is a local uh, oscillator uh, input which uh, is going to my wave station have a look and wave station uh, is adjusted to 14 megahertz okay and uh, on the uh, other side so the second input the um, coming uh, normally from uh, the uh, TX so that uh, is our RF uh, input and uh, RF uh, input should be uh, the device on the test, so uh, normally uh, the transmitter. Um, but I'm uh, simulating uh, this input um, with, my, with my signal generator. And uh, signal generator is adjusted to 14001 megahertz um, with uh, input level of minus 10 dBm. So that is uh, what I um, explained so far. So um, have uh, a look uh, on here. So I said uh, we feed in 14001 megahertz and uh, from the local oscillator we uh, get um, this 14 uh, megahertz and uh, at the output we expect our 1 kilohertz and um, 
for the moment in time um, I have uh, connected uh, already um, the uh, the potentiometer uh, to adjust uh, the level and um, this will then um, go to uh, the audio amplifier and um, yeah for the moment in time uh, the potentiometer is already um, installed and uh, the um, uh, the output uh, coupl coupling uh, capacitor is the little uh, blue one down here I uh, hope you can uh, see it and um, here's a, a green uh, wire is um, going to the potentiometer and uh, the other side of the potentiometer is going to ground and uh, in the middle here there we should have um, our um, audio frequency so our hopefully one uh, kilohertz and uh, connected uh, to this uh, pin um, is um, capacitor just to suppress um, half uh, oscillation so that it's simply connected uh, to ground so that we cannot get any uh, self uh, oscillation okay um, I have uh, just for test purposes um, I have uh, connected uh, my oscilloscope um, to uh, the output uh, of the potentiometer and that is connected to my uh, oscilloscope and what you can see here um, I'm reading out uh, the frequency and what you can see here it is one kilohertz so we have a nice uh, and uh, clean um, we have a nice and clean uh, sinus so that is uh, what we expected so that means um, it is uh, demodulating uh, our our um, SSP signal because when I transmit um, uh, um, an RF uh, signal which is uh, modulated in um, SSB so on a transmitter you sending out 14.001 megahertz and uh, you need to add your in the transmitter suspressed uh, um, oscillator frequency so your carrier if you like and uh, carrier is 14 uh, megahertz and um, I'm feeding it in with uh, 7 uh, dBn as uh, explained before and uh, this uh, both uh, signals are now uh, coming uh, together to, to the mixer and uh, at the output um, we do not see uh, both uh, carriers anymore so the only thing uh, we see is uh, our, our uh, modulated uh, signal which uh, was uh, uh, yeah, modulated uh, uh, if you like uh, in our transmitter in our example, one uh, kilohertz, and um, yeah, at the output we see now we have uh, one back uh, our um, our audio frequency. So that is exactly what uh, we are looking for. So that means our circuit is running. So to um, check it a bit more. Um, I'm connecting uh, our, our uh, audio amplifier which we uh, tested before and uh, which is uh, still here on the breadboard so now um, I want to connect um, it uh, to our little uh, 
a mixer board and we will see if we feed uh, our audio signal directly into uh, the uh, audio amplifier in the uh, LM386 uh, connected to our uh, test speaker. Here is our test speaker and uh, let's see if it works.